In this video, we explore another important design practice, modular design. A well-designed system is made of independently functioning parts called modules. Building in modules has numerous benefits. First, it allows each part of the design to be optimized to its specific function. Second, it is possible to construct and third, test the various modules simultaneously. Once the system is constructed, it is easier to maintain, modify and customize the individual parts. We will now apply the design process to a modular design. In the previous video, involving a futuristic relay race, we created a digital design for a system that flags an illegal handoff in a given lane. A bad handoff flag was generated when runner B crossed the red line before the incoming runner A. The present design will extend this to flag a bad handoff occurring in any lane. The first step is to generate an overall system description using a block diagram. In our example, the overall output signal that covers all lanes takes the individual flags from each lane and connects them by an OR gate. We will realize this circuit using Logisim. In Logisim, the default worksheet is called main. This is the worksheet in which the block diagram is implemented. We will construct and test the first module, which creates the required overall output. For many designs, it is easiest to work from the outputs to the inputs. In this case, the module is a simple OR gate. For now, the bad handoff flag for each lane will be implemented as an input to this module. To enter the other, more complex modules, we will open a sub-circuit. This is done by selecting Add Circuit under Project in the menu bar. We will name our sub-circuit Flag Bad HO. This module is the design that we created in the previous video to detect a bad handoff in a given lane. So, in the new worksheet, we redraw the circuit or copy and paste it from our previous work. The worksheets are listed at left in the Explorer pane. To view a worksheet, double-click on the icon. The currently viewed worksheet is indicated by a magnifying glass. To insert a module into the main worksheet, select the main worksheet. Single-click and move the icon for that module into the worksheet, as you would for any other device. We connect the inputs and outputs to these new modules. The existing inputs can be converted into outputs in the attributes table. These modules can now be individually tested in the main worksheet. Finally, the overall design can be assembled and once again tested. 